I'm going to show you now how you can use Project Lombok and Jacoco inside NetBeans as well as Plain Maven. First of all, just add the Lombok provided dependency and save the pawn. That's all there is. Here's a normal JPR entity. It has a same constructor filling all my non nullable fields, email and name in that case. It has getters for all fields and has a setter for the name. It also has a hash code and equals pair, that makes sense. And it needs a default constructor to work with Hibernate. First of all, get rid of the default constructor. I'm using the no args constructor annotation from Project Lombok. Make it X level. protected and I can safely remove this. Next step I want to get rid of the getters. Just delete them and replace them with at getter at class level. Project Lombok then generates getters for all fields. The first interesting thing to show is the generation of the setter. I am annotate the field name with setter. And then you will notice the yellow mark here that says not generating set name, a method with that name already exists. So NetBeams not only supports those annotations when I add the dependency, but also understands the error messages. So I should remove the setter here. Next, up to the hash code and equals method, there's an annotation for that. Equals and hash code, um, which takes the name of the fields you want to include in the hash code and equals method. I'm going to include the email. Again, you see the yellow mark popping up. It says not generating equals and hash code because I have a typo and they already exist. So let's fix the typo. Email. It's still there, the warning, because the method exists. So if you're using JPR and um, you already have a lot of annotations, I think then you can add some more to get rid of the boilerplate code Java has to offer. But does this stuff really work? I'll switch over to the controller I have right here. Um, and I'm going to show you that those getters are working by putting out some information. I'm not using system out. I want to use um, a logger. There is this annotation SLF4J which generates uh, an instance of log inside the annotated class, which I can Im immediately use. And I even, I didn't save the file yet, uh, NetBeans immediately recognized it. New registration whatsoever. Uh, new registration. Get name. So you see, this works just fine. You maybe want to test this stuff. I'm a big fan of Jacoco. Jacoco is a build plugin. You have to add it in the build section of your POM file. But first, let me show you this context menu of the project. You see a lot of stuff, but no, uh, no, no code coverage here in the test section. This will appear just the moment you add the Jacoco plugin, like I did. I save this, and again, context menu, code coverage. There is a report that let me run all the tests I have in my project. Let's see, standard Spring Boot stuff showing up. For whatever reason, I cannot touch this.
And you see, I have some tests in my project and um, I see the covered branches and the covered statements. On the left side is the code coverage report, on the right side you see the nice integration inside the editor. And uh, what's totally cool is you see that uh, the SLF4J annotation is slightly darker green than the rest. It says um, it's fully tested and NetBeans is clever enough to not only recognize project Lombok annotation but also knows that I tested it and that Jacoco has checked it. So I didn't install any plugins before I recorded the screencast. It's just a plain and simple NetBeans 8.1 installation. Thank you.